Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. In the entire universe, what is your favorite font? And so help me, if someone in the chat room says Comic Sans MS, it, Wingdings, I'll, I'll accept Wingdings, G-T-A-S-A -S font, not bad, not bad. Ariel, pff, Helvetica wannabe. <clears throat> Everyone's got a favorite font, even if it happens to be one that nobody else likes. Did you know there is a Locker Gnome font? It's created years ago by a, a fantastic font developer. Uh, I really enjoyed featuring his fonts in my newsletter, which the newsletter is still around. It's kind of evolved uh, since the, the time that I was reviewing fonts on a regular basis. Uh, called Locker Gnome, and some people... Uh, have used that font in projects and it's kind of funny when I run across it and in you know a, a brochure or you know a website I'm going that's the locker gnome font it's kind of goofy silly big and blocky it's out there do a search for the locker gnome font of course there was also the locker gnome FLF which is a figlet font um, I created that one I I've always enjoyed fonts I don't even know if you know well not only how much i've enjoyed fonts over the years but if you know how many fonts you have installed on your computer right now any guesses anybody care to guess how many fonts they have installed i'm guessing more than they realize because a, a program will install a font you'll uninstall the program but the font still uh hangs around it's nice to have a lot of fonts of course you gotta know that uh, those fonts may be taking up memory so if you don't have a lot of memory, you shouldn't be having a lot of fonts inside your fonts folder. Uh, but if you want a quick way to see how many fonts you have installed and, more importantly, be able to browse those fonts with ease, I'm going to tell you about this tool. It's called the Font Picker. Not a very creative title, but it doesn't really need to be to do something for you. It's found at richardsprojects.com co.uk richardsprojects.co.uk and I you can see I've got the website here but I've also got an app on my desktop it's because it's running uh, on Adobe's platform so you can either run the font picker right here from within the website just browse or you can run it on your desktop and the nice thing is uh, you can actually try different uh, wording and I'm here. You want me to zoom in? Fine. And then you can browse through each one looking for the right. You can look for the right style. You know, whatever you're looking for, right? So if I wanted to say, say, type in, let's go over here and try computer. Okay. No, that doesn't look good. I don't, I don't think that looks good. Not not in black. Uh, yeah, so let me try Let me keep going down here. Fonts. Yeah. Fonts, 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 fonts. Uh, that one's kind of nice. Radon. I like that one. Ooh, gothic there. Or brody, I guess is what it's called. I just keep going and going and going because, see, I have 375 fonts to, to browse through. Easy way of seeing not only how many fonts you have installed, but to be able to key in a bit of text to see how it's going to look in any one of the fonts that you happen to have installed on your computer. You don't need to install this app, okay? It can run right here within your web browser. The name of the website again, richardsprojects.co.uk, and then you can look for the font picker link right there richard's projects this is just one of the projects that he's working on now, it's not you know super duper fancy looking but as i said doesn't really need to be it's a utility and it's extremely utilitarian in its utility oh and it's free don't know if i'm really leaving anything out cross-platform free runs within the web browser easy to use about it thanks richard my email address is chris at perillo.com. Feel free to drop me a line if you know of any other resource that uh, you know, might be able to share with the rest of the community or just take a look at myself. I'm sure resources were recommended right here in the chat room. We've got a whole bunch of tech enthusiasts that are 
you know, hanging out and, you know, typically talking tech, whether it be in the chat room or on the community, geeks.perlo.com. Um, and then, of course, the live video feed with the chat room. That's on a, a, a different dedicated web page, which, of course, you can get to uh, at any time. Really, I mean, I started recording these videos, as you can see, uh, when we set the topic a couple minutes ago, a little past midnight, and there are still people awake with me. Gotta love geeks! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, so long as you love this kind of stuff. And I do. I like talking about fonts in the middle of the night, because I have no life. If you have no life as well, uh, feel free to stop by. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.font. We'll see you later.